Hi butterflies, I'm Glenda of Style with Glenda K. Harrison and welcome back to my channel. In this community, we're all about mastering our true style, soul, mind, body, and of course wardrobe. So if that's what you're into, then I invite you to subscribe to glendakharrison.com and to subscribe here at my YouTube channel. How to identify your wardrobe pillars. And in that blog post, I told you all that my wardrobe pillars, one of them is the tiered dress. So as you can see, I have some of my tiered dresses here that I want to reimagine, restyle, so that you don't get your wardrobe pillars stuck in a rut. So as you can see, I have a variety of tiered dresses and tiered tops. This is one that you've seen already on the blog, and I will put a picture so that you can see it, but I re will restyle it today in this video. And also this one, I've worn this a couple of times on the blog. So I will put the picture so that you can see me wearing this one. And this is one that I just wore recently. This is so fun. This was the actual top that I wore for the blog post, identifying your wardrobe pillars. As you can see, it's a huge roomy top. It's so much fun. It has the balloon sleeves. And I think this is one of the funnest tops that I have in my whole entire wardrobe, no joke. And last year, I wore this one here, so I'm going to restyle this one today. I wore this one already at the dig. And I wore this one at the dig, so I'm going to restyle this one also. And for those of you who have been a while, around for a while, then you will remember this one. This is the taffeta dress that I got from Zara. I've worn this a couple of times already. And I will insert the picture so that you can see how I now, style this. This one, this is the prettiest tiered dress I've ever seen in my entire life. This is a new acquisition to my wardrobe and I absolutely am in love with it. As you can see up close, it's all sequins and it is heavy and I am not going to style this one today. And the reason why is because it needs to have its own style story. So in the near future, I am going to be posting and wearing this dress at the dig. So you have to stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed to the dig, I invite you to do so. I'll have a link below. So yeah, wait for this one. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna restyle and reimagine all of these tiered dresses. And if I don't restyle it today in this video, then I'm going to insert a picture because I've already worn it before.
is how I change my pillar pieces so that I don't get stuck in a rut. And as you saw, in some instances, it was just a matter of changing my shoes or adding a hat or adding a belt or just reimagining the dress by tying a knot in it to kind of give it a little lift and definition to it. It's easy. All you have to do is just keep your mind open. What happens is when we get stuck in a rut is we take the dress and we just wear it the same way all the time or whatever your pillar pieces are. If you take that piece and you just wear it the same way every single time, that's how you'll end up getting it stuck in the rut. So you guys all know that I am a lover of accessories and I feel like it's in the accessories that give your outfit that depth and that personality. Or what I often say is it's the icing on the cake. So remember that when you go out shopping, um, remember the accessories because they are a key and vital part, a key, excuse me, a key and vital part to getting dressed and making your closet more interesting and giving it more personality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a, subs a subscriber, I invite you to do so by subscribing to my YouTube channel as well as glendakharrison.com. When you subscribe, you automatically will receive the blog post that dig into your email box and you'll also receive the weekly e-style letter. The e-style letter is where I give just more information all on the subject of style. So I hope you enjoyed this video again. Until next time, butterflies. Bye.